All right, we're back. A couple things before we start the mission. Uh, R&D has finally gotten to the point where we're reaching those branching paths and the weapon upgrades that I told you I'd show. Uh, for the most part, they're all the same thing. One's a range and accuracy bonus, one's a damage bonus, and one's a special effect. You've seen these already, like the scout rifle lowers defense. Uh, the shock trooper rifle, which I actually haven't unlocked yet, lowers attack, I'm guessing. Oh no, there it is. I haven't unlocked the damage one? I don't know. And then I don't know what the other one for the uh, Lancer is. The, I don't know what status effect you could put on attack, but that is. And the sniper reduces accuracy. Uh, for the most part, I'm not using the special effects and the weapons. There. I just prefer damage or accuracy or something, depending on class. So, there you go. Come back again soon. I uh, guess I'll show it off again once we get the other upgrades I have unlocked. Cause I'm so curious about what the other Lancer path is. And then as for the squad members, Vice still not here. You know, kill me now. But we have unlocked Nancy and she has a potential called Bug in a Rug where she feels cozy in trenches and wears a cute little hat. So, uh, so she's totally getting in and we're going to toss out Freezia. Not because I particularly dislike her, but uh, I gotta toss out someone. Thanks for everything, welcome. You call me anytime you need me, you hear? Oh yeah, it's Nancy time. I'm Nancy DeFore. It's so good to meet you. Well, she even sounds like she's 12. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. Alright, so now it's time to start the mission. Or to start the cutscenes that will then start the mission. Wilkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Wilkin. You got called in too, Faldio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. Aw, oh, sweet, it's the dating sim mission. I'm gonna seduce the princess what? so hard. But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent honors. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. This is surprising to me, Walken. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Oh, sweet. She gonna end up in my army? Well, yeah, I guess. Clearly the only way to fight their Valkyria Valkyria is with my own. I'll meet you both at Castle Randbreeze tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah. So much for my plans to go birdwatching tomorrow. Your all-important birdwatching plans. I hope they don't mess this up. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. That's a lie. There's no hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. I mean, can you really make fun of his hat when you're wearing the exact same yeah, thing? I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you Alright, how did she get in here? This is supposed to be a private event, miss. Good evening, Miss Ellis. Here to cover the banquet tonight? She's in her normal outfit. She didn't even change. You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. That's also been Gallia's policy to not get invaded. 
I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. Well, that's a foreboding name. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. I mean, should we with a man named Borg in there? This is suddenly unsafe. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Jesus Christ, that hair. Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Galia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline. And my heart is a repository of justice. Nice unicorn tiara on the princess there, by the way. Someone's got to slow, start the slow clap. I lost for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful, and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. Man, you don't need the foreboding music to tell me this is evil. I just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. Like no one finds her out of place there. One. The Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire. Jesus Christ, what is that feather thing? And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa? Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! What a happy get-together this is. <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going this party to sucks. Well. See ya. I can be playing video games. Faldio? <sighs> I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh. oh god, text just popped up in front of me. Princess Cordelia. Now's the time I can put the moves on her. I, I'm so terribly sorry. Are you alright, your highness? I am unharmed. Beep boop, I am a robot. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? 
Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? I mean, he's lost that a while ago. Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. But didn't you hear her? She's at the peak of joy. With the biggest smile on her face when she said it. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Gallia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The mark is alone. Now is our chance. Meanwhile, in a place Welkin shouldn't dun know. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Welkin. Good night, Captain. Let us part ways in this hallway. Wait! Hold it, Verat! Verat! Terrible news! General Damon, what's the problem? Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? It can't be! I mean, we saw her 30 seconds ago. She should still be in this hallway. It's pretty long. Yes. It was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. He wasn't a good guy. Well, this is, this is shocking to me. So the Federation takes her under their protection, and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. I mean, I have to ask, why did they even kidnap the princess now? They had their alliance. There's no need for this, right? I had to guess. I... So get on it! Not, you've got to get her back! I'm no evil ambassador, I suppose. He would know better than I. But it didn't seem like this was necessary. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. Hey, Casey, what is that thing? It's truly the devil's work. The first test flight succeeded during EW1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. I'm all about aerial combat if they add that into this game. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Is she just stealing parts from these people? Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I mean, to be fair, we are somehow funding the R&D section, so I guess spare parts for our airplane is I'm fair. I'm from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird-watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Ever since that one-off comment when we were kids. Oh, that's real sweet. Like when I was a kid, I wanted to be Batman, but no one, no one assures that dream for me. Hey, sorry, can I ask you a favor? Please let me help you build your airplane. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come on. You don't mind? You don't have all the work to do, you know. Working on the military things? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right! Uh, is that some sort of ambulance? What's happening at this hour? 
Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Don't think of it twice about pulling the gun in your fellow soldiers. Oh, what, about, what is what is this, man? All right, who's here? Okay, that's it, always. Ah, yeah, that seems good enough. Your mission is to rescue Her Highness unharmed. Failure isn't an option on this one, soldiers. Yeah, show us what you know. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. Full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Galia. Apologies for the cramped quarters, Your Highness. We'll have you comfortable soon. Please, sound more evil when you say that. Lieutenant, it's likely the Ambassador has the Princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the Princess. Don't lose them. Tank shells, anti-tank lances, and grenades are off limits. Could harm the princess. Understood, Captain. Rox, even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah, on a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. Well, I'm guessing that was it. Oh, oh wow, he's way out there. Oh, well, might as well scout out. Well. Yippee! I murdered him! Uh, yeah, you just hold your position here. And I do not have anything to work with here. Mm, I'm actually kind of worried about how far that is. Oh well. Now, there's a whole lot of nothing out here. I'm almost there. Oh. Ah, 
Yeah, I might as well just start spreading out again. It was a weird mission. I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. Okay, your movement sucks. But for now, I'll just spread out like a crazy person. I'd shoot that lancer. Got their own em any emblem. Nice touch, I guess. Alright, they're just coming out. Just shoot them. I get it. They only move one little square at a time. I'm just gonna go C2 next. Alright. Totally uh. Oh, what a crappy APC gun. Well, I mean. Huh. Exactly. What am I supposed to do against? Well, whatever. Okay, we're not fighting the Imperials there, Jane. Oh god, I got turned around. Why is this city so big? Get the princess out of there safely. Moving out. Please hit. Just keep up this pace. I apparently have given up on just blocking this thing and I'm just going to gun it down. This is my plan, apparently. I can already smell the retry. Wow, okay, uh, the APC gun's actually pretty good. Okay. Oh god, why is this one shooting so fast now? Alright, it doesn't have tread HP, so yeah, just go for the thing. Oh god. Thank <laughs> you. 
have dirt road any day. Yeah, raw power. Probably is one turn rescuing Nancy. My turn, okay. Medic! You've got to stay strong. Keep fighting. You'll be okay. Don't worry about a thing. Now there's all hope, they'll just kill Jane and then Rosie will finish them off. Ambassador, the vehicle's taken damage. It won't last long at this rate, sir. Make it last long enough. It just needs to get us to that harbor. As soon as the princess is on Federation land, we'll own this little country. The vehicle's taken heavy damage. It won't be long now. I don't look comfortable. What? What? Oh no, don't do it again! I don't know why. I don't understand how that gun works. I expect you to go two turns. I don't know how that gun is consistent. But whatever, I think Rosie still has it. Yeah, weave. I just have to hope four turns is enough on Rosie. And if it's not, then I get to retry the mission. Actually, use tactics and blocking it with the tank. Yeah, I'm fine. Now well, this is a mission that I almost failed horrifically. And everything's fine. Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. Your Highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. Beep boop. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's the Princess of Gallia you're talking to. You can tell by her signature hat. It's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrie. It is my fate to live and die for Galia's well-being. I like her sunny disposition. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. 
You youngins and your lack of respect for your... She's not his elder. She's like 12. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. I was not programmed with that ability. But time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Wow, even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. Look guys, she's a human. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. I keep it right next to my ammunition. Here you are, your highness. Thank you kindly. It's an important animated cutscene of her eating bread. It didn't even look like she was eating it. Such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, let's get her highness back to the capital. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Which is really crap, because he did not even sit in the tank that whole mission. I didn't even touch him. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. Welcome to the Echo Chamber! Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. I mean, that is the first step, I guess. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. You are not allowed to speak so freely in the echo chamber, Lieutenant Gunther. Sir, my apologies. Seriously, what's wrong with this room? With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Gallia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. I recognize Welcome. that knocking animation. In. Sure, it's open. Ooh, 
Is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. What was Faldi? What was everyone else? Why was Squad 7 the only one to do anything about this? Like, you'd think the princess was abducted, the whole army would be down on them. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. Like, if by the end of the game Borg isn't revealed to be super evil, I'll be shocked, really. But why suppress it? I mean, not that's not already obvious, but like, I intend to fight him in one of these missions. Word got out about what happened. Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. That tends to happen when they try and kidnap your princess. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. I begrudgingly give that point to Emperor Borg. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welcome, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. That fish more for something welcome to get behind. Follow you knows how to speak his language. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welcome. No offense. But I hope nature's wrong this time. I mean, it's a wonder we've lasted this long. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. Chapter 10. Liberation of Thousand. Well, that's it. Enough of this episode where we fight our own troops for reasons. See you next time.